Hey guys welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to talk about 2023 Ford Escape so let's get started. When the Ford Escape first debuted in 2001, it built on a road-ready model with bold styling, V6 power and a sophisticated drive system for the time. These days, the Bronco Sport, which shares its platform with the Escape, covers the smaller SUV market for Ford, leaving the similar Escape to pursue a softer lifestyle. Front-wheel drive is standard and all-wheel drive is still available, but there is nothing difficult about the rest of the package, which can have any of the two hybrid powertrains a plug as well. Then a turbocharged 3. Or 4-cylinder engine. The design of the Escape is beautiful, its cabin is spacious for people and cargo, but not too high. Performance is average for the class, but if you are a person who likes to drive somewhere, you will find many things that appeal to rivals such as Mazda CX-50 and Volkswagen Tiguan. What's new for 2023? Ford gave the Escape a stunning new facelift for 2023, featuring a larger grille that features the brand's iconic grille. Hand market on the bonnet and front and a number of new wheel models are used on the sides. Gone are the S, C, SAL and titanium trims for good in favor of new models that include the Active, ST-Line and Platinum models. The plug-in hybrid model, PHEV, is independent, all models go from 3-way to 4-way for infotainment needs. A 4-way infotainment system with over-the-air updates and a larger 13.2-inch infotainment screen is optional. All models have an 8.0-inch digital display, which can be increased to a larger 12.3-inch unit on some models. ST-Line offers a sporty look, although it is a cosmetic. We'll use the new ST-Line model as it's the cheapest way to unlock the 250 brake horsepower 2.0 turbocharged 4-cylinder. This requires the select package, which also adds all-wheel drive. ST-Line comes with special wheels of 18 or 19-inch, colored body paint, mesh grille and rear spoiler. The interior of the room is dressed in all black with contrasting red stripes and stewed on the floor. To increase the Escape ST-Line's digital footprint, choose the premium technology package, which replaces the 13.2-inch infotainment screen and 12.3-inch digital display for the standard 8-inch. 0, 0.0 inches from the exhaust. Engine, transmission, and performance. The Escape offers several different powertrains, starting with a 181-horsepower 1.5-liter turbocharged three-cylinder engine that can be had in front or all-wheel drive. To stay competitive in the form of Honda CR-V Hybrid and Toyota RAV4 Prime, Ford offers two hybrids, one of which is plug-in, and these powertrains consist of four-cylinder 2.5 liters and two electric motors, which combined makes 210 horsepower. The base Turbo 3 gas engine, while somewhat rude and unrefined, provides sufficient acceleration and managed to move the all-wheel drive escape seat to 60 miles per hour in 7.7 .7 seconds on our test track, the plug-in hybrid model is compatible with this result. The upgrade to the 250 brake horsepower 2.0 liter turbocharged four cylinder is an attractive option and is powerful enough to beat the clock in 5.7 seconds in the same 60 miles per hour test. Both gasoline engines are mated to an eight speed automatic transmission, hybrids use a continuously variable transmission. Range, charging, and battery life. The plug in hybrid model comes with an 11.2 kilowatt hour battery, which is enough for an EPA electric only drive of 37 kilometers. During our highway fuel economy test, we did 25 miles of highway before the battery ran out of juice and the exhaust turned to gas. Fuel economy and MPG. According to the EPA, the 1.5-liter turbocharged three-cylinder model with front-wheel drive provides the highest fuel ratings among non-hybrid escape models. It's rated for 27 miles per gallon city, 33 miles per gallon highway, and 30 miles per gallon combined, adding all-wheel drive, consider those numbers 26 miles per gallon city, 31 miles per gallon highway, and 28 miles per gallon combined. We tested the prototype with the turbocharged three-cylinder and managed a whopping 35 miles per gallon during our 75 miles per hour fuel economy run. Although the big 2.0-liter turbocharged four-cylinder with all-wheel drive was shown for 23 miles per gallon city, 31 miles per gallon highway, and 26 miles per gallon combined, we ended up with a 32 miles per gallon highway for our test. For those looking for the most efficient way to escape, look abroad than the plug-in hybrid model, which scores EPA fuel economy ratings as high as 44 miles per gallon in the city, in our test, the Escape PHEV returned 36 MP GU on our highway fuel economy. Room, Comfort, and Fit The Escape room is beautiful and spacious for both front and rear occupants. Although there are lower-priced plastic panels and lower trims, the ST-Line and Platinum models of the Escape look and feel more. Leather upholstery is standard, while Platinum models get plush leather seats as standard. Behind the back seat of the Escape is a large cargo area that allows for up to eight passengers, which joins its crosstown rival, the Chevrolet Equinox. We installed a 21 box in the Escape's folded-down back seat, but the Equinox has two more. Infotainment and Connectivity While the base model comes with an 8.0-inch infotainment system, the service trim level and above can be offered with a larger 13.2-inch touchscreen. 
Both fronts run Ford's new interactive for infotainment interface that powers Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. The system accepts over-the-air updates and Ford says the Escape will update automatically so the owner doesn't have to worry about using outdated software. A 10-inch B and Amp, O. Oh. Play audio system, in-dash navigation, a head-up display, and a 12.3-inch digital touchscreen display are optional features. Safety and driving assistance services. Ford offers a driver assistance feature, which it calls Copilot 360, standard on all Escape models. For more information on Escape crash test results, visit the websites of the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety. Basic safety features include Standard forward collision warning with automated emergency braking Standard lane departure warning with lane keeping assist Standard blind spot monitoring with rear cross traffic alert I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos in the future. Thank you. Comment down what next review you guys want, see you guys in next video and thanks you're watching.